Hey everybody, this video brings us out to the surface of the sun. We are here in Oxford, Florida at Brown's Junk in the Trunk Sale once again. Just got done. Hey! <laughs> just got done walking up and down every single aisle. There's three long aisles. Also being on fire. It is crazy warm out today. It is nuts. The sun just went behind a cloud. So right now it feels kind of good. But yeah. um, the last uh, hour or so, you saw what? I still have my umbrella. <laughs> Sean was like, we we walked up to the front and Sean goes, I think I need an umbrella. I was like, let's go back to the car and get it for you. Because it's it's brutal out here. So water. And water. We've been, we've been keeping hydrated. We've been keeping the sun off us the best we can. Because for the past hour... The sun's just been beating on us and we're sweating to death and we're big piles of goo right now but we did find some cool things so that's what that's what that, that is what matters i can't even talk right now and so incredibly warm and about to um to pass out but we've been finding some cool stuff the sale is pretty amazing there's all kinds of awesome stuff here look at the the tie fighter how cool is that that is awesome i have a little one of those in the library but that is cool i like the like the fisher price or whatever this is uh x-wing that is really cool as well so definitely some cool some cool stuff here but i'm passing on all the toys was looking for some vinyl nations but unfortunately did not find any vinyl nations today not like last time i was here and found i believe it was from from that guy right right over there he had a whole bunch of vinyl nations last time we were here which is pretty awesome i think i picked up like i forget how many i bought like a ton of them for like what was it, like 10 bucks or something crazy ridiculously awesome like that I would like another sale like that. I would like to come across a whole bunch of vinyl nations for, for dirt cheap. I was looking at the uh, the figment here, the pin. I don't know if I have that one or not. That's a problem. I don't I don't know. I need to take a picture of my figment pin collection so that I know because that's a cool pin. He was only asking five dollars for it. If I don't have it, that's a good deal. But I don't. I just don't know. Another good deal is this over here. Look at all of the the CEDs, the capacitance electronic discs. There are a ton of these. I used to be so into collecting these, but I just, I had, I had to get out of it. I still have some. I have like some movies that I don't have on any other format. And I always look through them to see if there's anything I might, I might want to pick up. Something I, I don't have on any other format that I don't have in my collection yet that I want. But I actually have most of all this stuff. He's only asking $3 for all of this. He said you could take all the CDs for three bucks, which is such a stupid good deal. But Again, I, I gotta I gotta be good. I can't get back into collect, collecting these. I have nowhere even to put these. I've never I've nowhere to put them. They're awesome and they're so heavy too. The um the uh the way I used to, to display them are on these like big heavy duty bookshelves that I got from my old job when my old job went out of business and I got laid off, but they were throwing out the bookshelves and I said, Hey, I'll take those and they were awesome because they, they were meant to hold like encyclopedias and things like that. They were meant for, for holding a ton of weight. And they actually held all my laser discs and all my CDs without bowing at all, which is great. But I left them back in Pennsylvania because I did not need those shelves anymore. So, no, it's fine. It, it, it's actually fine because it's my excuse to say, well, I don't have shelves. I can hold that kind of stuff anymore. So I just can't collect that stuff anymore. Again, picking up an occasional laser disc or CED for a movie that I really want that I don't have on another format, that's fine. But buying CEDs and laser discs just for the sake of buying. Don't do that anymore. Look at the uh, the pram here. That is cool. I wanted to get a, um, a baby carriage like this for you when you were a kid, but no, I mean like when you were like a little baby, we had, we had a, we had a pram for you when you were a little baby, like a, like a stroller like that. It was really awesome. But I was like, nah, I want to get like a cool, like 1950s one. That would have been really really awesome but uh ended up not not doing that so again we're finding all kinds of cool interesting things out here lots of stuff that's very tempting lots of stuff we're we're very tempted to pick up like tiki's that i know better than to grab because we don't really need tiki's and cool signs we could get these for for like outside the the bathrooms no <laughs> i think the i think the bathroom signs are are pretty awesome so right now again the sun is still behind a cloud which is feeling great but I have this just in case. but again it was it was brutal out we are sweating sean's got sweat dripping down his face i've got sweat dripping down every i don't want to get into it but every everywhere <laughs> all i know is when we get back home I'm going we're jumping in the, the oh let's jump in the pool oh yeah 
I say let's go home, let's put our bathing suits on and just dive into the pool. Well, I say we wait for Max because I feel bad leaving without Max. Because Max should be home there. by the time we get back. Oh, okay. You can Max come in with us. We'll say, hey, everybody, everybody, Max, Danielle, everybody put on your bathing suits. Let's jump into the, the pool, right? And yeah, and then we'll do that for at least like three hours. And we'll Absolutely. And then have like lunch and then we'll just go hang out with yeah. all the stuff. So we are coming across a whole bunch of awesome movies. I mean, they got things like V and Mask of Phantasm, and this is the um, the three disc special edition of the Day the Earth Stood Still, which comes with the um, the original 1951 version. That is awesome. I actually just recently bought this. I think I paid probably more than they're asking here. So unfortunately, uh, I should have waited. That's a really really cool set, though. There's again a lot of cool Blu-rays. We are seeing a lot of awesome stuff. It's just unfortunately mostly awesome stuff we or at least I already have. But again, we did find some cool, yeah. some cool things. Look at the um, the Star Trek kite. Should we get that? That is that is pretty cool. Now that I'm a, a Trekkie, apparently, there's a um, a Ghost Rider. That is cool. But I don't, I just don't, I just don't do the, the toys anymore. I'm good. I stay away from the toys. Only do the Mario and Sonic. well. You you do all the Mario and Sonic. Again, look at all the. All the box sets, Die Hard, and a whole bunch of um, 007. Again, a lot of, lot of good stuff. Those. I have all those. I don't need. I, I have, you I have all that stuff on Blu-ray. Do not need yeah. any of that. But again, lots of cool stuff. Yeah, you again, you do toys and whatnot. So you pick up like, like Pokemon mm -hmm. and video game toys. Yeah. I'm good now. I'm not, I have not, shied I'm away from the toys. No, no, I've shied away from the toys. I, I've decided no I'm more, not, no I'm more not, toys. Like, I meant like when you just final, pops. just final Mations. Oh, the pops. Oh, yeah. geez, There's yeah. I went a like, I, I did go a little bit overboard with the me, um, pops, the Funko like Pops. Disney, cool stuff, <laughs> Pokemon. That's it. <laughs> and we did get you some cool stuff today. Yeah. So we found stuff, I think for everybody but Max, unfortunately. Yeah. Max oh, is no, a little bit more difficult to shop for. He's got very specific tastes mm -hmm. when it comes to uh, to things he is he is wanting. A lot of sports <laughs> stuff. We really didn't find anything like that today, nope. unfortunately. But we did find, again, some cool stuff. Look at all the Christmas stuff over there that is awesome so definitely some cool things I actually have the the flea market this time set up in a different area i was very confused when i arrived because last time it was back in that field but now it's all but now it's all up here what's back there parking parking is not back there parking was where it was i think it was here as well and you had to kind of like walk through through the say, I, I was gonna say, through the fence all the way. so i say let's go over here into the shade and take a look at what it is we um, we picked up because again it's brutally hot. It is crazy, Ooh. ridiculously whew, warm out. But again, we did find some really, really cool things that you wanna you wanna grab the um, the zipper there. There we go. All right. So again, we did get some pretty some pretty cool stuff. Yeah, put the umbrella down here. Just I was gonna say I don't know how. Just like that. No, there, I'm, there, I'm like there you go. Outfit. That's fine too. All right. So Sean got himself. Check this out, a Pidgeotto Which is pop. actually one of the evolved form of Pidgey. Yeah. Oh, you have, you just need the Caterpie, Caterpie oh, yeah, from this. I you have the Dragonite. That is cool. So, all right, yeah. you got that. You also got a whole pack here, like a whole tin mm -hmm. full of Pokemon cards for 20 the bucks. Recent, the recent Pokemon games, it's where the one, the, these some of these cards are futuristic oh. and past Pokemon. Oh, nice. Where, for example, this is a... um. A future version because okay. it's all made out of metal, and this is one of the past versions. Oh, awesome! So you don't have like you have you did not have a lot of those cards. No. So that's cool. So twenty bucks for that, ten bucks mm -hmm. for that, not bad. Thirty bucks total, yeah. pretty good deal for all of that stuff. Then for Danielle, check this out. I found a Rocket Raccoon from Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Three. She did not have this one, so that is cool. She definitely wanted that. Paid ten dollars for that as well. Then for I think I paid a dollar for this. Picked this up for the store. It's um, King Kong. King Kong vs. Godzilla and King Kong Escapes. Cool set. I have it. Well, actually, I have all three of these movies separately, but very cool set. Again, grab that for the uh, for the store. Then, I don't think there's a lot more. I picked up uh, this Warner Archives release of Purple Hearts. I've never seen it, but they were only asking $2 for this, and I'm not going to pass out a $2 Warner Archives title. That is really cool. And, oh, this I also grabbed for this store. It's the R2-D2 Beneath the Dome documentary. It's like a, a faux kind of um, behind the music type documentary it's really really funny but it's all like you know what if r2d2 was actually a real droid and you know all the crazy him going to parties and all the crazy things he got up to over the years it's actually like see that he he uh, met uh genie 
He uh, he got he got a beer belly. He got fat. He drummed with Ringo Starr from the Beatles. So a lot of funny stuff like that. And I'm thinking that's mostly it. Oh wait, I forgot about this. You got your green oh. Pokeball bank. So mm -hmm. Sean's got I'm a. Not gonna use this actually as a bank. I will use this if I. Just on display with the other Pokeballs. Yeah. He's got like a line of Pokeballs up at his shelf. So well, that is cool. I have different types of Pokeballs. One of them is one of them is the classic, but I have two versions of that. One that's the normal version. <laughs> and like a and metal one. one that's the metal. shiny one. Yeah. yeah, that's cool. So he didn't have a green one. So green that's one. cool. And then I think the only other, let me double check. The only other thing we picked up, you want to hold that for a sec? Only other thing, right? Yeah, nothing else in here. This is actually for, for Chris. So I saw this. They were only asking $10. And I immediately, immediately had to text Chris and said, hey, do you, do you want this? So Chris from Muppet Stuff, I mean, check this out. It's a Kermit the Frog, like, book bag thing. This is cool with tags and everything. Jim Henson's Muppet bags. Look at that. Made exclusively for, um, is that Butterfly or Utterfly Originals? I don't know. That is really, really cool. So Chris definitely wanted that. Wanted that. He immediately said, yes, grab Grab that for me. So some, so some really and cool he, finds. And then, all the, and, then, and then you're like, oh. Yes, I, he just said yes. I texted him and he immediately went, get it for me. Yes, I want that. So very cool. Here, you want to hold the, the camera for, for, one, yes. for one sec? Make sure you don't touch any buttons. So very cool. Awesome stuff. Indeed, not a huge haul, but maybe quality over quantity. Some very... Yeah, very cool. I'm, I'm very happy. Back in the um, I got some Pokemon cards I don't have, I I do not have, and I also got some cool pops and Pokemon. You did buy some cool stuff, so all right. Yeah. So that is it for Brown's junk in the trunk sale here in Oxford, Florida, where the sun is. Why? Why now that we're done? Is the sun gone? I don't know. Has the sun gone behind a cloud? <laughs> the sun. The sun's been behind a cloud for the last like. Um, what almost 15 minutes now which it was not at all the entire time we were we were thrifting the sun was out beating on us the entire time we were becoming goose of sweat check out the uh, this is really cool showing off your john water set i mean that is that is awesome check this out i was so tempted to pick this up but i already have all the movies it's just the uh the john waters dvd scrapbook which i think is an exclusive for the set that I don't have. That is really, really cool. You said what, Dude, 50, 50 right? 40 bucks. Ah, oh, that is so tempting. If I didn't already have all the other movies, <laughs> I would be all over that. That is cool. I love me some John Waters. That is a cool set. That is so tempting. 40 bucks. That's a heck of a deal, but <sighs> I already have all the other movies. So I got, again, yeah. got no one to walk, no one to walk away. <laughs> I'm just walking away right now before I drop $40 on one DVD that I'm sure somewhere down the line I'll find for cheaper, like uh -huh. I'd say 10 bucks. I'll do, I'll do 10 bucks on that someday. If I ever come across that set for 10, as long as that one DVD, the uh, the exclusive DVD is in good condition, I'll pick the set up. But all right, guys, that's pretty much gonna do it for, again, Brown's Junk in the Trunk Sale here in Oxford, Florida. My new, well, I mean, I, my new favorite Florida <laughs> flea market. I don't wanna, I don't want just Jake's. I still love Jake's back in Pennsylvania. Jake's will probably always... Okay, I'm go if you go, I'm going. Jake, Jake's will always I'm be going. my all-time favorite mm -hmm. flea market. I love it there so much. I it has some always, of the best deals. Too. It does. I will always hold a special place in my heart for Jake's and for the people of Jake's and just for all the amazing finds I've gotten at Jake's over the years. A lot of the people who are at Jake's are also really nice. They are. They're super awesome people. But when it comes to Florida flea markets. This one's pretty good, right? Yeah. It's a good flea market. I, I love it. This is my new favorite Florida flea market. We will absolutely be coming back here more in the, the future. I think they do this once a month, if I'm not mistaken. So next month, when it's also brutally, disgustingly hot out, we can, we can come back. Oh, the sun, the sun is back. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So we're going to wrap this video up now before we, we pass out. Maybe grab another bottle of water, maybe two or three bottles of water. For the ride home again you can see so many movies but unfortunately as per usual it's all stuff i have it's getting so difficult to find stuff i need to pick up luckily though i did find at least what one is that all i found one yeah i found one dvd i i needed i can't i can't even say i needed it. it was the the warner archives title which for two bucks which i grabbed just on a whim because it's warner archives but technically it's not even really something i needed they did have i believe it was oh my gosh look at the Look at the Jeep candle. I should get this for, for Danielle. Look at that. It's got the Jeep wave and everything. That is cool. Don't know what we do with a, uh, 
I don't know what we do with that. But anyway, so like I said, tons of movies. There was a, um, one of these st stands actually had a, um, an Elvis movie that I had within a multi-feature set that I was excited about because I thought, okay, yes, I'm going to get this. It's going to start to split up that set because I want to have all the movies individually, but unfortunately I had a big like arching scratch through it. So I had to, um, I had to pass. See all these things? Look at all the, the cool things over here. These are awesome. I was looking at these last time we were here. These are cool. Look at the, 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 the orangutans and the lizards. These are pretty awesome. There's a, like a duckbill platypus. That is cool. And oh, there's the, uh, the Pokemon. There's a, there's a Pikachu here. That's cool. Oh, there's an Arcanine. There's an Arcanine where? Is that what, is that, what that is? Yeah. Which, which one are you looking at? Oh, these? Oh, that's an Arcanine. Wow. See, Sean knows a Pokemon better than I know. The Pokemon. <laughs> Like These ones are autographed. That's cool. Look at that. From Killer Clowns. That is cool. Danielle and I just watched that. Well, she watched that movie for the first time just a couple of months ago. I grew up on that movie. You should watch that movie. No. Why? Then then you'll know what I mean when I say another door. Another door. You already showed another door. You already I did I showed you that clip. <laughs> I love Killer Clowns. It's amazing the way kids grow up these days. They I feel like kids don't grow up with those those movies because I remember back in the day because it, it's because it, I blame it on on the internet because back in the day when we had cable it'd be a rainy look at this sewer soup that's cool it'd be a like a rainy Saturday or Sunday your your friends you know you weren't you weren't going out and playing with your friends because it was pouring down rain or maybe it was the middle of winter it was just brutally cold outside hadn't snowed you weren't going outside so what did you do you stayed at home and you watched like USA Network or something like that. You watch some cable. And what would they show? They would show things like Killer Clowns from Outer Space and Beverly Hills Cop 3 and all those those classics. I call it. I, I think they're classics. And you would grow, grow up watching all that stuff. But now I feel kids are like desensitized. Or not desensitized. They, they're, they're not desensitized to all that stuff. Like growing up, I was like, Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Who who cares? No no big deal. Not, not scary at all. The only thing that ever scared me as a kid was Freddy Krueger. But all the other... I used to watch all the Jason movies, all the Friday the 13th movies. I used to watch all that stuff. None of it, none of it scared me because I grew up watching all of that on cable. But I feel like kids these days, they don't have cable. Thus, they don't grow up watching that stuff. Thus, they aren't desensitized to all the scary horror. And this stuff still scares them. I don't know. Scary horror. You might if you grew up watching it. <laughs> so over here is where, where Sean grabbed all the, um, oh, the Pokemon cards are, are gone now. They had Mr. Bill. Which is pretty awesome, yeah, no, and a whole bunch of a Wii games. I still got more Pokemon. Oh, the cards are in there. Oh yeah, that's cool. Look at those, the shoes too. Those are awesome. Very cool. All right, guys. Again, the sun's out. We're done. We're gonna we're gonna go. We gotta 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 like an hour drive home, and then as soon as we get home, yes, we are we are jumping in the pool. So let's go grab some water. Let's go grab, grab some water. So we don't pass out. Maybe some food also on the way home. Yeah. yeah, I'm hungry. I'm, I'm I'm starving. So, all right, guys. Oh, the sun is. Where where again? Where were these clouds? I don't know. Like, 20 minutes ago. What the heck? This feels great. It doesn't feel it doesn't feel so bad out now. Yeah, but everybody unfortunately at this point is packing up. So, oh, I, I, did I completely miss all the? I completely missed all these VHS tapes. I somehow walked past all of these. I don't see anything i need i just see some cool stuff like the abyss and mask that is cool two copies of uh of mask that is awesome yeah unfortunately i don't think there's anything in here i actually need i like these uh rental cases those are cool all right i don't i don't see see anything what is i have no idea all right again somehow completely missed over the uh the vhs but nothing there i need i didn't even look through the records today there's so many different vendors who had records but i was i was i was like i'm not i'm not doing it i'm not i'm not, I'm not digging today <laughs> today is not today's not a digging day yeah today's just a quick give a quick glance kind of day because again <laughs> because again the uh, the sun was just brutal and disgusting but all right guys that is going to do it so if you went out to a flea market today, leave your comments down below. What flea market did you go to? What is your all-time favorite flea market? 
Did you go to Jake's flea market today? Actually, tomorrow tomorrow's the day to go to Jake's. You gotta go on a Sunday. I mean, Saturdays are great, don't get me wrong, but Sundays are the days for, for Jake's flea market. Anyway, did you go to a flea market? If so, what flea market? What is your all-time favorite flea market? And if you did go to one, did you become a giant pile of goo like we did and melt because of how disgustingly warm it is out today here in Oxford, Florida? Like in Hawaii. What? I have been told that there's not much to do in Hawaii when it comes to thrifting. I've been told by some viewers that when it comes to thrifting in Florida, there's not much there, unfortunately. Not much to thrift. That's what I've been told. I don't know. Florida? What? You said Florida. Oh, Hawaii. Hawaii. When it comes to thrifting in Hawaii, thrifting in Florida is great. Thrifting in Hawaii, I've never been to Hawaii, but I've been told not so hot. You guys can leave comments down below if I'm wrong about that. If thrifting in Hawaii is amazing, if I've been told wrong, Leave your comments. Do you have cool uh, flea markets in Hawaii? Let us know. Again, though, I'm going to let you guys go. So like I said, let me know what you did today. Let me know if you went and hit up a, a flea market or did any thrifting at all. What is your favorite favorite flea market? I can't even talk anymore. I'm so, so, so dehydrated. So tired. I'm about to pass out. Then leave those comments down below. I want to hear from you guys. Oh, we're almost at the end. Yes. Oh, we're up, yeah, we're going to get some more water. So, as always, guys, thank you so much for checking out this video. Be sure to hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Check down below for links to Patreon. Hold on. I did. I completely missed over the... How am I missing over things? This is why... Look at the, the Morticia and Gomez. Black and white. Funko Pop. That is cool. The Garbage Pail Kids as well. Wow. That is awesome. So many cool things. This is why you always have to look twice. Also, it's brutally hot, so I may have just missed that stuff because I was trying to get through the flea market. Anyway, that's gonna do it. Like I said, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, check down below for links to Patreon. If you guys do become a patron, I will send you a postcard every single month from the road. Also check down below for a link to Spreadshirt, where you can grab yourself retro rest stop t-shirts, and also hit that join button and become a member of this channel and gain early access to all my videos. All that stuff helps support the show. It keeps, okay, keeps the show going. So I really do appreciate the help and really do appreciate the support. And if you guys watch this video all the way to the very end, hashtag, We're on ha the sun. I was gonna say hashtag thrifting on the sun. How's yeah. that? Hashtag thrifting on the sun. If you guys watched this video all the way until the very end. Hold on, let's do a, um, ready, come here. Here, let's, let's get a, let me get a good. Are you guys gonna be anywhere tomorrow? Wait, try to move here. There we go. Maybe it's a good thumbnail. I don't know. Anyway, guys, we'll we'll see how this we'll see how this all all pans out. So, all right, guys, let's get doing. Like I said, hit the like button, hit that subscribe button. And if you do hit that subscribe button or you are subscribed, then I will see you guys in the next video. All right, thanks Bye. for watching. Have a good one. Bye.